Hi, in this video I'm going to cover synthetic division and an easy way to remember synthetic division. Synthetic division we use in algebra to divide polynomials, especially when you have a larger polynomial divided by a smaller polynomial. It works especially really well when you have x to the first power that's the divisor into a larger polynomial. Synthetic division is a shortcut than doing long division and it's very it's very handy for solving polynomials. Here's how synthetic here's how we set up synthetic division. In regular uh, long division we subtract every time. So for example if I have 645 and I'm going to divide that by 15 I subtract every every time I do the problem. Let's see does 15 go into 6? No, does 15 go into 60? Yes. Um, 15, 30, 45, 60. So that would be 4 times. 4 times 15. We multiply, right? We get 60, and then we subtract. We get 45, and then it goes in there 3 times. So we know that 15 times 43 is 645. But I, I have to subtract every time I, I do this. Well, wouldn't it be nice if I could add every time? And I'm going to add every time by changing this number right here. So this is the first thing we do is we change this sign. So if it's positive, we make it negative. If it's negative, we make it positive. So I'm going to write down 1 instead of negative 1. Synthetic division turns the whole division world upside down. So instead of making a regular uh, bracket thing there. I'm going to make an upside down one. So we got 1, negative 4, 8, and negative 3. Now where are these numbers coming from? These are the coefficients in each term of the polynomial. We don't really need the x's. Like over here with the 6, we know that 6 means 600. It's in the third position. Well this 1 right here is in the fourth position, so we know that that means 1x to the third power. And just like this 4 here means 40, this negative 4 here is attached to an x squared. So we don't really need the x's. So here's, here's the process that we go through to do this. The first thing we do is we drop down this number right here to get the to, to prime the pump, so to speak, to get the process going. So I take this 1 and I drop it straight down. So that would be D. Then I go ahead and I, <coughs> excuse me, I multiply these two numbers together. 1 times 1 is 1. Now so that was multiply. Now instead of subtracting these two numbers, I get to add the two numbers together. So I add these two together, negative 3. Oh, so then I start over again with the multipl multiplying process. 1 times 3 is negative 3. So I put the answer right there, so there's multiply. And then I add. And then I multiply. And I box in the last number. And I add those two together. So the process for synthetic division is just remembering d mama. So we drop, we multiply, we add, we multiply, we add, we multiply, we add until we're done. So we drop this first number together, we multiply these two together, we get 1. We add these two together to get negative 3. We multiply these two together to get negative 3. We add these two together to get 5, and then we multiply to get um, and then we add them together to get negative 2. I'm going to have to get a drink of water. <coughs> Alright, I'm back now. We're not done yet until we put the x's back in. The boxing number is the remainder. This is the number. It, it's just in order. This is the x and this is the x squared. So I put the numbers with the different uh, letters so 1x squared, or just x squared, minus 3x, the number is 5, and the remainder. Now what is a remainder? A remainder is a slice of the pie. It's a fraction. So we need to express our remainder, not r2, but it's a fraction. Like if you eat some pizza and you have a leftover pizza, you have some remaining. So we write it as a fraction 2 would be plus 2 over what I divided by, x minus 1. So that would be the answer to this problem. This divided by this is equal to this here. So the uh, dividend divided by the divisor is my quotient. I'd like to go through another example and, a, and something that you need to point out with synthetic division. 
and that's if there's a missing part. Well, we have to have all the parts to this, so we're going to divide these two. We got x cubed minus 3x plus 2 divided by x plus 2. All right, here's the second example. Notice there's a piece missing. It's cubed, there's no squared. So we have to account for that with synthetic division. So we change our sign, negative 2. We turn the, the synthetic division world upside, or the division world upside down. We have 1x cubed. We don't have any x squared, so I'm going to put a 0 there. We have a negative 3x and a 2. So this is like 1,032. The, that zero is holding the spot for the hundreds, while the zero is holding the spots for the x squared. It's kind of a similar kind of thing. So it's like place value. You have to hold that spot when you're doing your division. So here's the deal. It's D mama, D M A M A, dot, dot, dot. So you just keep doing this until you're done. You drop, you multiply, you add, you multiply, you add, you multiply, you add. That's what the three dots mean, is if there's more um, parts, you just keep mom mawing. All right, so we drop the one down. We multiply these two together. We put the answer underneath here, negative two. We add these two together, negative two. We multiply, we get four. We add these two together, we get one. We multiply here, we get negative two. We box in the last number to separate it. That is the remainder. Well, this one has a remainder of zero, so I don't have to do any fraction part to the end. So this would be, again, the remainder. This is the number. This is the x. This is the x squared. And if there's another piece over there, it'd be x cubed. 1x squared minus 2x plus 1 is my answer. Now I'd like to go through this um, problem that I did before to show you that synthetic division actually works uh, with this regular division. You can actually use synthetic division to divide this problem right here. Again, the process is drop, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. That's the, that's the steps, and you can remember it really well with the mama. It, uh, each year when you come back to it, um, I've found that if I just go, oh yeah, that's what I do, I just keep going through this process. So, example three. Are you ready for this? We're going to do 645 divided by 15. We know the answer is 43. All right, I'm going to think about this 15 as 10 plus 5. So that's kind of like the x, like x plus 5. So I'm going to switch the sign, make it negative 5. I'm going to write down 6, 4, and 5. So that we know that that's the hundreds, the tens, and the uh, ones place. And then going to do the process of synthetic division. I drop the 6 down. I multiply. I get negative 30. I add these together. I get negative 26. I multiply these together. Okay, so 5 times 20 is 100, and then 5 times a 6 would be 30, and a negative times a negative is positive, so positive 130. I add the 5 to it, I box it in, I get 135. So it's like, okay, well, well where's, the, where's the answer 43? Well, here it comes. So if this is the remainder, this is the units, this is the ones place, and that's the tens place. So there's six tens, so that's 60. There's negative 26 uh, units. So we're getting rid of 26 of those. And then the remainder is 135 over what we divided by. And what do we originally divide by? 15. So we originally divided by the 15. So here we go. 60 minus 26. 60 minus 26 would be 34 plus, and then 15, let's see, 15 goes into uh, 128 times, so nine times. Answer, 43, which is what we knew before. Now, I wouldn't say, hey, we should do synthetic division all the time, but it, it actually works for, for division. Uh, synthetic division uh, can be used to find solutions of polynomials. It can be used to graph. I, I collect old math books and I found this in one of my old math book collections 
this is um, a solution to a problem. So they have the fourth power, x to the fourth minus six x cubed plus 24 x um, minus 21. And what they did is they came up with all these x values and then they found the y values or the f of x values, but they found all of the solutions by doing synthetic division and then looking at the remainder. Of course, they didn't box in the remainder. Um, see, there's, there's negative three. So they synthetically divided by negative three and they got a remainder of 150. So negative three, 150 is the solution when you plug in 150 or negative three up into this equation. S they notice they do the synthetic division with a little box here in the back, but they drop, they multiply to get one, they add to get negative five, they multiply to get negative five, they add, and then they multiply to get five. Um, actually, it's negative 5. They add, they get 19. They multiply, you get 19 again, and then negative 2. So negative 2. So 1, negative 2, it would be <coughs> the ordered pair for that uh, polynomial. Based on this table right here, they were able to make a really nice fine graph. Notice they counted by tens in one axis, the y-axis, and then just, it looks like, they counted by ones um, in the x-axis. So this is from this is an answer key from an old algebra two book and let's see what's the copyright um, the copyright in this is 19 1936 is the copyright in this so it's it's an answer key I, I don't have the actual algebra two book um, I just have this answer key and there's all kinds of crazy division problems in here now some of them I wouldn't want to do by synthetic division let's see uh, these like a problem like this. I, w I wouldn't want to divide this out. Um, no, not this one so much. There's there's just some really crazy division problems in this book. Like this one right here, I found in this book. You have to do uh, x plus 36 minus x to the negative one divided. This is uh, divided by this. Uh, uh, for, uh, algebra expression out here and it, it the answer is just really kind of crazy so that's that's the answer to it it all works out if you keep your um, place values so synthetic division isn't so great for this but um, it, it all is division